Thailand's devastating floods caught many people unprepared, leaving hundreds dead and tens of thousands homeless. As authorities struggle to fend off waters closing in on the Thai capital, Bangkok, ordinary people are being swamped with mixed messages. If there is no more water coming in, it might not get seriously flooded in Bangkok. In Bangkok, people might have to adjust to using boats instead of cars. To cut through the confusion and calm down a worried public, a group of young animators got together to create Rusu Flood. No and Fight Flood is designed to educate while keeping the audience entertained. Tarwat Chai Sangtam Chai is one of the series' creators. There is a flood of information. Academics say this, the media say that, the government says another thing, and people on the street say something completely different. The air is full of confused voices without anything to organize the information. To illustrate the magnitude of the crisis, Bangkok's encroaching floodwaters are compared to 50 million blue whales trying to make their way out to sea. Later episodes explain how to calmly assess the situation and prepare for flooding, focusing on safety and self-reliance. Broadcast on the internet and on Thai television, the series has been seen by many of the capital's flood-weary citizens. Its popularity helped promote a recent concert in Bangkok to raise funds for flood relief. I think now people don't know how to find the information because sometimes government tell uh, not the whole thing. And I think it's just very like useful and easy and understand for Thai people, um, especially for like they use the cartoon like animation in the clips, and there will be like subtitle for English people also. So I think it's just very um, easy to understand and very useful. It's quite uh, clarifying, so yes, I think, I think it's, a, it's a good way to inform people about the flood. Right here, it is station for animation and illustrator. About 60 students and recent graduates work on the series, rotating around the clock, producing a new episode every few days. Their office space and much of their food is donated, and they are all volunteers, some of them personally affected by the flooding. Volunteer animator Sipapard Klongraksar was flooded out of his house and for now not only works at the office but lives here. Normally I would be sitting around in my room watching TV, but I feel that there's a lot of people who are in trouble and Rusu flat around me to be more useful to society. As floodwaters slowly spread into central Bangkok, the series focused on how to deal with getting flooded and evacuating safely. Among the tips for leaving your home, pack a life jacket, plug your toilets with sandbags, and carry a large stick if you should be unlucky enough to meet a crocodile while evacuating. Daniel Scharf, VOA News, Bangkok.